In the hot seat, New York Republican gubernatorial candidate Carl Palladino ignites a firestorm of controversy again over his blunt remarks. With the election just three weeks away, Palladino is under fire for what some call anti-gay statements. Here's CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer. No Carl Palladino says his blunt talk about gays, that he doesn't want children brainwashed into accepting gay marriage, does not make him unfit to be governor. Quite the contrary. There are many people in New York that find me very fit because I do speak on issues and I speak stand up for the rights of the people, all the people, all the time, including all homosexuals, yes. The latest flap in the governor's race began when Palladino met with some Brooklyn Hasidic Jews and spoke out against gay marriage, but a version of the speech handed out by a rabbi had some things Palladino didn't say, including a charge that, quote, there is nothing to be proud of in a dysfunctional homosexual. Palladino said he didn't write the speech, but when it was handed to him, he crossed that line out. That section, okay, of, of my presentation was written, okay, and, and it was handed to a, a staffer. So who did write the speech? Sources tell CBS2 it appears to have been written by a man named Yehuda Levin, who acted as an emissary from Palladino to the Orthodox community. The rabbis Palladino visited in Brooklyn tell CBS2 his views reflected their Orthodox views, but they don't reflect the views of groups dealing with gays. We're sending a message to young people that it's okay to discriminate, it's okay to commit violent acts, that it's okay for gay kids to kill themselves. And that's not okay, particularly in a place, in a country, that supposedly values all of us. The firestorm had Palladino's various political backers at odds. Republican State Chairman Edward Cox said that while he condemns any remark that could be construed as homophobic, Palladino was more than capable of speaking for himself. The man enunciated that he is for traditional marriage. He's opposed to same-sex marriage. Conservative Party Chairman Michael Long said he thought Carl Palladino's remarks show that he and Democrat Andrew Cuomo have different views on such social issues as gay marriage. I think it's becoming very difficult to be for traditional uh, values um, in our society today. And when one does stand for traditional values, uh, they get slammed for it. In the end, it will be up to New York voters to decide which candidates' views better reflect their own. The election is just three weeks from tomorrow. Live in the newsroom, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Marcia.